Hello friends and welcome back to the DSJ Homestead. Today we're actually taking on our very first um, bit on what I'm going to call strange tools. And I apologize for the birds being super loud behind me. We've almost got the chicken coop all the way up, so it shouldn't be an issue in just a couple of days. Anyway, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit subscribe, share, and like. And uh, we'll get talk about this first tool right after the bump. Good morning, everybody from the DSJ Homestead. As always, I'm your host, Dave Michener. And today we are going to talk about this little interesting tool. This is a uh, crate hammer from the research I've been able to do on it. And this was marked by the Peroni and Campizo Fruit Company out of Louisville, Kentucky. And the best I can tell is that this hammer was used to open crates, pull nails, and to uh, be able to seal crates back up with the small hammer. Um, this hammer was, uh, this was actually a, a bit I would love to do on a regular basis with a strange or unusual tool that I've picked up along the way. Um, this one actually came from a handyman was doing a job at my auntie's home. And he walked off the job and left his entire toolkit. It's been there for almost six months now. And she and her husband, or, or my uncle, are getting ready to move to Florida. So she told me and my brother to come get it and get it out of her house. So um, this hammer is approximately eight inches long. And the hammer head itself is approximately two inches long, two and a half inches. So we're going to put it through the test real quick to see how it does on driving a nail and pulling the nail. So this is just a regular piece of uh, treated lumber, that, or untreated lumber that came out of the barn as part of what we're using to build the chicken coop. So let's see if we can drive a nail into this. Well, I think that's a pretty good pass right there. Now let's see if it works on the other end of its job. Yep. I think it passes that too. It, man, this thing is so fun to swing. I'm not even going to lie, that was a lot of fun. Let's try it again. So. That nail's in there. Let's see if we can just get it right back out. There it is. So, this again is the um, crate hammer. I don't know where you can buy them new. I saw a bunch of them vintage on eBay for between ten and twenty dollars plus shipping. Um, I would suggest adding one to your everyday kit because it feels really good in my hand. I'm probably going to put a um, Tack, uh, paracord wrap around it to help keep it from um, losing any more of the chrome on the handle and probably put a little bit of a collar around the top to help protect the chrome there but I'm pretty sure that this tool will probably wind up being used almost every day here on the farm so until next time thanks for joining me um, it is a cold and dreary day for May here in Kentucky um, and we will see you guys next time. Make sure you guys get your hands dirty and do something awesome.